Hey, what is going on, you freeze-dried Feebas? Charizard X is taking a ton of different forms in the Paradox Rift format, but it's coming back to the build that was most popular pre-Paradox Rift, and that's the Pidgeot EX Charizard EX build. I still think there is some merit to the TM Evolution B-Barrel build. I think when Path of the Peak is more popular, that's probably the build you want to lean on a little bit more because Path of the Peak doesn't shut down B-Barrel the way it shuts down Pidgeot EX. I think TMD Evolution, I think that build handles TMD Evolution a little bit better because you got the Triple Charmeleon in there. So if those two cards are really, really popular, I think it might be time to bring the B-Barrels back out, but they're not that popular right now. To be honest, Path is really only played in Maridon a little bit and then Lost Tina of course but Lost Tina is really not that popular not what it was at the beginning of the format or what it seems to be at the beginning of every format definitely falling off as expected because the deck is terrible and yeah not that much path in the format a little bit of TMD evolution the Pidgeot build definitely feels like the way to go right now but of course things could shake up in the future I've been playing a ton with Pidgeot Charizard trying to work on my build to see what I like see what I don't like and this is where I'm at right now so this is the optimal build for me right now but tomorrow could definitely be something else so the charmander split let's get into that first i got two of the blazing destruction charmander one heat tackle and two ember i'm going with the heavier count of the 30 hp charmanders because of iron valiant uh stuff like that six hp really does make a big difference uh in that matchup against iron valiant i'd say so i'm favoring more 70s and favoring the blazing destruction over the ember it's pretty close to be honest i could go two ember one blazing destruction i definitely at least want one blazing destruction and i've leaned into two of them a little bit more because it's a little bit better against paths of the peak but like i said it's not that big of a deal uh, to have to deal with paths of the peak right now so it kind of doesn't matter which one you play two of i would at least play one of each and then the second one could be one of the 70s i would lean on one of the 70s right now to give yourself a little bit better time against iron valiant but just a little bit one charmeleon 90 hp charmeleon because we play the level balls we don't have to find the charmeleon without having to use an ultra ball is really good it's really good so i like the level balls in here because basically nest balls only found basic pokemon with less than 70 hp pretty much every single time the only weird situation that could come up is when we only have a nest ball and a forest seal stone in our hand um but now we have level balls so we wouldn't be able to like nest ball for rotom and then attach the forest seal stone and go from there pretty much every single time we have access to the forest seal stone we also have access to a battle vip pass or potentially an ultra ball so hasn't come up yet where i've had that nest ball situation so level balls just kind of feel better overall so i definitely really love level balls especially the synergy with the charmeleon it gets the charmeleon into play so much more aggressively because a lot of times we have hands where we could arvin but we can't quite play an ultra ball out of it because there's too many important cards or we just don't have enough cards in the hand to ultra ball away to get the charmeleon so level ball is just arvin for level ball or drawn to the level ball play the level ball get the charmeleon get that in play a little bit less reliant on rare candy as the game progresses so love the level ball charmeleon package in here for sure uh, i also did take robin schultz's list to begin with i know if some of you have been keeping up with the results from recent big tournaments this probably looks pretty familiar uh, i changed a little bit but not a whole ton so i started with robin schultz's list and kind of worked it from there 202 pidgeot ex of course and we're on the call for family pidgey now of course because we have the jirachi in here to protect from any sableye shenanigans and yeah call for family great you already used it in a couple games that i played with the deck um it's not something you'd like kind of lean on very heavily and if it if we didn't have access to call for family pidgey it wouldn't be at a huge detriment to the deck but definitely nice to have in there of course we got the mew in here where those aggressive battle vip pass searches or a good response to like finding rare candy and ultra balls if we get iono yeah the mew sick of course we got the mew in there jirachi to protect our bench from sableye or our pokemon from sableye our bench pokemon from sableye manaphy same reason don't want the greninja sniping our bench pokemon we got the luminate in here of course let's talk about the rotom v real fast the two choices i think right now is rotom v or pidgeot v i don't think entei is worth it anymore i don't think the entei is very good it's not as good of an attacker as it used to be into the lugia matchup because lugia is not popular at all nor is it very good against lost box uh because you have jirachi to protect the main reason entei was really good against lost box is because it was an attacker that you didn't have to get into char or get into play through evolving and you could just kind of set up a charizard set up an entei and start attacking um, but if you set up a charizard and then set up two charizards on turn two the sableye could start to pick apart your charmanders and then you could maybe not ever get another charizard and play for the rest of the game and sableye could take free prize cards on charmanders for multiple turns after that potentially so you'd want entei to begin with against lost zone decks and then go into the charizard from there but now that we have jirachi to protect our charmanders from sableye there's really no reason to play the ante so we may as well play another v pokemon that gives us a little bit more utility to work with and i like the rotom right now over the pidgeot the pidgeot's cool because it can shuffle itself back to the deck that's cool uh taking that two prize liability out of play is nice but the draw power from rotom has been sick it's been so good to help ourselves get set up that little bit extra in the early game definitely love the rotom we definitely want some kind of v pokemon besides luminian that we can leave and play aggressively to combo with the four seal stone rotom does that and it also draws us more cards to have a cleaner turn to love the rotom it's been great so far i do play the collapse stadium in here as well because of the rotom if i didn't play the rotom i don't know if i would play the collapse stadium if i was playing like a pidgeot 
the I might go to like a second vacuum instead. But the escape or the collapse stadium is still good to get rid of like a damaged Charizard or even potentially the Luminian. So I don't know, collapse is still pretty good in a general. For the supporters, we got a lot of them. Four Arvin, of course. It is a heavy Arvin build. Three bosses orders. I feel like that's a must in this deck as well. When you are able to be the aggressor, sometimes you just sit there and like boss three turns in a row to like close out the game. Uh, for Iono right now. So this is one of the spots in the deck where I think there's definitely some room. Cut an Iono for a research if you'd rather have the flexibility of different draw supporters. Or uh, to be honest, if you want to include like another fire energy. I only have seven in here. I was trying out two super odd uh, and seven fire energy. And I went down to one super odd, seven fire energy. And so far it's been fine. I haven't like had any real terrible situation as long as i play well i haven't had really any situations come up where i feel like i ran out of energy i've basically been exclusively using my super rod to recover energy though but it still hasn't been to like a detriment of like losing games so so far it's still working so i'm gonna keep rocking the one super rod seven fire energy but i could definitely see going to second super rod or the eighth fire energy if it starts to feel like it's a little bit too little but yeah before i don't know so i don't sick i so i was really good in this deck we are a comeback deck in a lot of situations and a lot of games we're not drawing the first couple prize cards that's what our opponent's doing um and we do have some big late game combos that we do want to set up around Iono. We want to play like Iono plus Countercatcher, Iono plus Candy out another Charizard. And if we have to quick search for the Iono, that means we can't quick search for the Red Candy or the Countercatcher or anything like that. So just naturally drawing into the Iono allows us to combo that with quick search to set up those bigger plays. So I've been liking the four Iono, but I definitely think the fourth one is definitely a flex spot that can kind of become an, uh, anything. Like I said, three boss is sick. I do have a lot of gust effects in here though. Two counter catcher, three boss. And I think the counter catcher is the other kind of most flexible uh, card in the deck, but I've been really liking it, especially in the mirror match. The two counter catcher has been disgusting. I like fall behind early pretty consistently. And then we just kind of make our way back. The two counter catcher has been really good. I've actually was really surprised. I was like, let me just try two. Let's see how it feels. I wouldn't go to three. I wouldn't do that. That would be way too many. But two has felt like actually kind of incredible. I've actually was really surprised. I was like, let's just try two. See how it feels. I'm sure I'll cut it after a couple games, but then a couple games later, I was like, I'm just naturally drawing this so much more often, which once again frees up our quick search to go do other stuff for the turn. It's really nice to just draw these big combo pieces like the Iono, like the counter catcher. So then our quick search can become the super rod, become the rare candy, become the next Charizard, whatever it might be. It frees up our quick search when we're naturally drawing these really powerful cards. So I don't know. The counter catcher definitely feels good. The fourth Iono, like I said, that one's a little bit uh, not sure about, but the second counter catcher, I'm kind of torn on. The Avery, really powerful up against the Chi and Pao matchup, which is basically non-existent. I can't even remember the last time I hit a Chi and Pao on the ladder. It's been a while. Chi and Pao Excalibur. I've seen a couple Palkias. They got the Chi and Pao in there sometimes. Uh, and then really good against Gardevoir as well. They hit up that Mirage step. They just load up their bench turn one, taking a couple of those Pokemon away, knocking out their active, especially with the Lost City in play. Pretty good combo. Pokemon Search Cards. I talked about the level balls. Of course, we got the 4 IV and the 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Candy, of course. Uh, only one Lost Vacuum right now. I do like two, but you can't play everything. We only got 60 cards to work with here. Should it should there be four Iono? I don't know. We only got 60 cards to work with though. I'm at one lost vacuum, two lost city, one collapse stadium. If there's like a big increase in the Maridon deck, dealing with bravery charms and paths against Maridon is tough sometimes. So I could definitely see adding in second vacuum over the second lost city potentially, or even adding a second lost vacuum alongside the two lost city just to have that much more uh that many more ways to deal with path to the peak only one four seal stone in here i felt pretty okay with it it's the one thing i like one of the things that stood out to me from robin's build where i was like "Ooh, i don't know two four seal stone prize that thing kind of sucks but the more i've played especially with the extra early draw power from rotom it becomes a little bit less important to have that four seal stone on turn two and you only prize it like 10 percent of games anyway so the majority of the time you are going to have access to it through the arvin so one has felt fine to be honest i think one probably makes more sense like i'd rather have a second counter catcher i think than a second four seal zone after playing with like a second counter catcher and stuff like that so i think the space is better used elsewhere especially with like i said that extra draw power from the rotom can kind of make up for those games where you do prize that four seal zone tool cards there's a bunch of different tool cards you can play in here i've currently settled on the justified gloves and the v vitality band the main reason for the justified gloves is the mirror match is really popular right now and the justified gloves are crazy good in the mirror there's a lot of situations that come down to two two prize cards remaining and if you were the player who was ahead uh, you're in a situation usually where you your opponent doesn't have a pidgeot ex in play because you just ko'd it and then or is that how it usually works i'm trying to like i'm trying to remember i don't know basically the justified gloves are just sick <laughs> like it I, the amount of times i'm at two two prize cards in the mirror match at the end of the game is really high and then we go Justify Gloves, knock out their Charizard EX. It's like I knock out their Pidgeot, their Pidgeot's already gone. And then Justify Gloves, knock out their Charizard EX to close out the game. They're like in a board state where it's like they don't have any other two prizes left. It's come up so many times. The Justify Gloves is actually just like insane in the mirror match. Defiance Man can sometimes work as well, but we have to be losing the game, which is not always happening. Sometimes we're winning and then we get into a situation where we can't close out the game anymore. So we're not winning 
anymore and then they win and then we lose and that's not good we're trying to win so yeah justified gloves insane the vitality band makes up for the situations where we miss justified gloves to be honest so defiance band was like really really good against Maridon and roaring moon for the most part and any other weird situations where we fall behind against stuff like uh lost tina uh in situations where they draw like three prize cards defiance band could get us that 280 but vitality band does the same thing same thing up against Maridon. when Maridon draws the first prize card for a Maridon deck we're only doing 210 damage that's where defiance band would step in but vitality band gets us to the 220 or for up against roaring moon and they draw the first prize card the defiance band would get us to that 230 or 240 damage but justified gloves works against roaring moon so the combination of justified gloves and vitality band basically covers every situation you could possibly run into where defiance band will kind of cover them but then also gives us a way stronger mirror match and like a really interesting plays against the lost tina matchup as well because sometimes when they like they attack with their first tina they go down to three prize cards but we've already drawn three prize cards so defiance band wouldn't work to ko a tina there but once again the vitality band steps up and gets us from that 270 to that 280 mark yeah it's really nice i don't think you need to play the two tools but if you're playing justified gloves it feels like you have to play vitality band but i could just see playing the defiance band but this just covers such a wide range of wide range of scenarios and because of the mirror match the biggest thing is because of the mirror match it feels like the justified gloves are definitely worth it right now but if charger becomes a less popular deck moving forward i would probably cut the justified gloves because i couldn't justify them in the deck if the charger wasn't popular enough two lost city lost city really really good against lost home decks i would always play one lost city because stuff like roaring moon or radiant charizard in lost zone decks is definitely something you want to lost zone because they usually play one of them they can't use it ever again if they get to use those things twice they can definitely snowball their early lead into a dub so you always want to play at least one lost city like i said i could see cutting a lost city for a second lost vacuum if Maridon's popular enough two lost city though becomes the more lost city you play the better it becomes against guardvor uh, you can really start to gu pressure guardvor's pokemon with the lost city so yeah lost city really really good against Gardvor. you really only need one against lost box it feels like most of the time especially because Jirachi just kind of stopped Sableye from being used it used to be nice to have two lost cities against lost zone because they would like start to use Sableye and you can lost city their first Sableye and if you replace your lost city you can lost city their second Sableye and they can't Sableye anymore so that used to be pretty cool but now that you just have Jirachi shutting down Sableye like one lost city feels like it's all you need against lost zone most of the time um but like Robin Schultz played three lost cities in his list at Gdansk and like that just gives you that much stronger of a guard war matchup so that'd be something to worth considering would be going back up to three lost cities but I really like the collapsed when we're rocking the Rotom so I don't know it's hard to it's hard to want to play three lost cities and a collapsed stadium like that's a lot and then only seven fire energy like I talked about that we're down to seven fires and one super rod not that much it's less than pretty much everyone else is playing right now but it's been working so I'm gonna keep rocking it until it feels like it's no longer working and I think I would rather add the second super rod than the eighth fire to be honest I tried out the two super rod and that felt really good to be honest really aggressively being able to recover our Pokemon and our energy was really really nice and I didn't feel like I needed eight fire in the deck so I think second super rod would come first before the eighth fire energy uh, but as of right now it's been working out fine so I'm gonna keep rocking the super rod seven fire and with that said let's go and jump into some action with Pidgeyzard so y'all can learn how to pilot the deck optimally and um be sure to check out the secondary YouTube channel Azul GG2 if you want to see some more action with the deck from me you pass every single time they don't whiff they don't whiff man always lucky oh okay ultra ball Ooh, the mini ore they might be playing the no no arvin build though possibly they got the rotom themselves okay i kind of want a roadie out of my hand to be too to be honest um I don't want to Rotom, but I kind of feel like it's... Well, let's get the four Seal Stones in here. That'd be like a big... It's there, man. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> like, it just seems too good to not do. Gosh, am I collapse here? I can pull together some plays next turn. I got like that counter catcher. Ooh, okay, okay. We can do some stuff here. That prize a boss. That prize a boss. Hey, let me take a better count of my prize card real fast. Energy, 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 energy. Six surprise of fire, because I don't think there's one in hand. Oh, they could Delphox me, though. What if they play the Delphox? That'd be unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. They could have Candy, Zard, Boss, KO, my Pidgey. So this could be a two Pidgey angle, I guess. Oh, I had the fire in hand, actually. Be a two Pidgey angle. Um. 
play safe around that. I usually like playing around that, to be honest. I don't know if it's correct, though. I don't really want to get bodied. I could get Mew as well and retreat to Mew, and then that makes up any boss play they do, like, less good. Um, it's good. Good thing. Bad thing. Mew also plays around Iono a little bit as well. Iono me next turn. All right, let's get the Mew. Mew's pretty chill. Big Mew fan. Losing my Pidgey here would suck, but I guess I'd have the Candy Zard at the very least if they do have the boss play. I'd have a Candy Zard counter catcher almost for sure, and I have to try and reestablish a. I don't want to put this in play though, because they all play like one to two vacuums, so I'm not trying to let it get vacuumed. Probably chilling is better. <clears throat> but I guess there's like a good chance I get Ion here. Maybe I should put the Force Seal Stone in play, to be honest. Um, any family that plays Pokemon TCG? Not anymore. They used to. Um, three of my siblings used to play, but they don't play anymore. They quit playing them quite a while ago. You always want to go second against Charizard X? No, against um, <clears throat> really aggressive uh, mirror builds. There's a couple of matchups where you want to go first. Aggressive mirror builds. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, no Arvin is wild. I don't know. There's quite a few people who are doing the No Arvin right now. <clears throat> it doesn't seem too ridiculous, to be honest. Um, yeah, you want to go first against Guardi? First against. I don't know. What else is there? Guardi. There's other decks too, isn't there? Or am I just kind of trolling? Like selling Dragon Ball Z, the leaks. I think something. Maybe it is just Guardi actually. To be honest, where you want to go first? I can't think of another one. Chi and Pao. Yeah, probably. I'm actually not sure about that one still. To be honest, maybe you just go second and set up. The matchup got better for Charizard, but it's still pretty tough. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Charizard doesn't need Arvin. I mean, technically, no deck needs anything, but it's the question is, is it better with Arvin? It's pretty good with Arvin. Did you know? I did not know that, no. First against Rabbit Strike? <clears throat> Honestly, I don't even know. Maybe you just go second. Is this Robin's list? No, I've, I've developed it a little bit more. Past what Robin had. But it's pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close. I just want to counter catch a care of that thingy. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, let's go. Lost City probably... Actually, Lost City could matter here, to be honest, because they did... Oh, it's a Charmeleon. I thought that was a Charmander. Lost City, Lost City probably doesn't matter too much. I mean, yeah, everything else in the hand is so good. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of anything else, right? I don't think so. Don't think so. All right, let's see what we can put together here. Get him with that mysterious tail. Candy. Actually, that just all sucks, to be honest. I mean, the Ultra Ball's okay, but I'm not going to play it. <clears throat> so I probably should grab this and throw it on the bottom of the deck. That's okay, I guess. I don't want to burn through my energy. Let's get candy and then play Iono. Do I have three energy in the deck? I'm pretty sure I do. Did I prize any? That's seven. All sitting in the discard pile. I prize a counter catcher, which is going to be the main thing. I'm sure. Should I have? No, I was correct to Mysterious Tail first. Because if I could have kept Quick Search after the Iono, that would have been even better. If I get a candy there, it's kind of sick. But we'll take this. It's not like it's that big of a deal. I guess I could throw... I could attach active here, right? I think that's actually fine. I think I'll be okay with that. I want to save the Vitality Band, though, because I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. Alright, so Counter Catcher KO Roadie. That's not the Counter Catcher I was looking for. Um, <clears throat> so I gotta go search out the Counter Catcher. Yikes. Um. Sure. Man. I was really sucks that the mysterious tail came a little I came up a little bit flat. Okay. Yeah, it sucks that I came up uh not what I wanted. Like if, if the mysterious tail just hit counter catch, I like saving like this is like better cards. I don't know, it's just better cards. Yeah, that. I think I actually should just go get a Charmander here. I don't know, it's just like too can it feels too convenient to not do it. It feels like it'd be bad to not do it. Also, like, depending on if they Iona me, they're not gonna Iona me next turn, though. They have to boss. Honestly, second counter catcher here would go crazy, but it's prized. So, because I could just kill this thing. Because I have the. I played the other card. But. Oh, not counter catcher? No! Maybe I should have put. No, if I put the Vitality Band here, though, they could vacuum it. See, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. 
close. Maybe I should have held the Ultra Ball because honestly, using Luminion here was like fine. Yeah, maybe I should have held the Ultra Ball because Ultra Ball for Luminion for boss was actually fine here. Would have been fine. Hmm. I guess I can Mysterious Tail into Ultra Ball still. Yeah, I don't know about that though. I think I could have played that differently actually. I think I could have played that differently because that's like pretty crazy here to like go boss KO Pidgey on this turn. I'm assuming they're bossing me. I mean, if they don't boss me, we just win, I'm pretty sure. So I'm assuming I'm getting bossed here. I guess they could misplay though. You can always rely on that, I guess. It's always like a viable strategy, you know? The uh, classic throw. Okay. Oh, but they're not getting a two prize knockout. Wait, no, I just win though. How do I ever lose? Because now I can just KO through their active because they're KOing through my active, right? Yeah, I think I just win. Classic dub. You know what it is. You know what it is. You know the vibes. Pretty sure I just win. I'm trying to think of how I lose. I'm trying to think of how I lose here. I can't quite come up with it. They can Turo. They could Turo. They could Turo here. Oh, they could. That's true. That's true. That's a good shout. Shout out to my man Turo. No, I still win through the Turo trade, though. I can still win through the Turo trade. Even if they Turo here, I can win still, actually. The Turo doesn't even do it for him. Yeah. I'm okay with them. I'm okay with Turo. Oh, maybe I should have left that open for a second, Pidgey, though. I have three water or three fire engine here yet? I do not. I quick search for... Honestly, I could go for the collapse just to get rid of the roadie. <clears throat> I don't know if that's correct though, but it locks them out of like doing anything weird as well. It locks their bench. I don't know if that's worth it. Might be worth it. I'm, I think I'm okay with this 210-ing here, right? 210 seems fine here. We'll see how it goes actually. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm trolling. And they have a better better play than I think. I think I'm in a good spot here though. We'll see. Honestly, that quick search probably should have been for like candy. And the next turn I could have quick searched for like something else, actually, to be honest. If they throw you, just go back to boss again on third. Yeah. But I think I misplayed that actually. Um I should have I should have quick searched for a boss there. I should have quick searched for a boss there, I think. For sure. Yeah, quick search for boss, I think was correct. What I did here was not correct. Um Search for boss goes hard. Quick search for boss. Yeah, because I don't really care about my Rotom anymore because they chose to punch my Zard. So. Turo, Turo, Turo. Yeah, because now if I get Turo, I'm like, damn, bro. The Turo? How are you going to Turo me, dog? <clears throat> Give me the Artisan so now I can search out my Pidgey. Dude. They didn't even retreat to the other Charizard. They're not even making me work. They're not making me work for anything, bro. They're just literally just giving me the game. There's got to be something else coming on here. There's no way this is ha what's happening. They're just literally giving me the game here. Honestly, just don't think I can lose. All right, maybe I'm trolling though. Maybe there's something. Maybe they know something I don't. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All right, mysterious. Some tails real fast. There's the candy. I should just be able to just super odd triple energy here, right? I just need two more Charizards. Yeah, super hot triple energy. I'm mean, gonna be honest, I, I'm, my list is a little cheesy for the mirror. I'm not gonna lie. Like my list is kind of cheese for the mirror match. Like, I'm not gonna lie. My list is a little cheese for the mirror. Do I just set up the other Zard here? If I just establish other Zard, do I just win? I probably just win, right? Set up two energy. I mean, it seems pretty good. Let's see how it goes. I don't want to put the gloves down yet. Hold this, though, right? Yeah, hold everything else. I could have benched a Jirachi, actually. I should have benched a Jirachi. That would have been the other thing I could have done there. <clears throat> I play, like, double counter catcher, vitality band, and justify gloves. Like, as far as, like, mirror match goes, my list is definitely cheesy, to be honest. Like, it doesn't... how The only the only way you can make the mirror match better for me would be if I played... <laughs> would be if on top of all of that... Okay, hold up. They can have counter catcher, defiance band, Iono. That's the play here. If they have counter catcher, defiance band, Iono, KO my Pidgeot... Something's happening. Something's happening. It's a lot. Eight. Do they have it all? 
No, a boss? Boss? That's not the one, bro. I'm still pretty confident that even if they had Iona here, we just need uh, counter catcher access. And also, I would have been able to like push up Zard, and they couldn't move the move their Charizard and have boss off like an I if I Iona them or something. I'm disappointed, bro. I'm honestly, I'm disappointed. They, al they almost had it all. They almost had it all. I want. I was rooting for him to be honest. I was rooting for him to have it all there. I was hoping that the Pidgeot was the thing that got to that. Because I was. I'm curious to see what I would have to put together on my turn to put it together. But I definitely had a lot of outs. I had a lot of outs to like it. Because I could get cancel. Oh, they play the water energy. Now, do they play the cancel clone? I don't know. Am I playing Radzard? Nope. Keep looking for spots where research should be good. Research is good in situations where you're ahead and you just want to stay ahead. Because it can be hard to piece together Zards if you're just Iono in every turn. You're not drawing that many cards to actually piece together Zards. But that's why I like Level Ball plus Charmeleon is really nice for keeping the flow of Zards moving. Because then you're not like reliant on Candy Zard every single time to set up another Zard. So, like Level Ball, having an aggressive out to your Charmeleon to keep their Zards moving is just really, really nice. Bro, another hand where if we had gone first, they just go turn one Escape Rope or Double Cross or Cam My Lone Charmander and I lose the game. Shout out to going second. All right, Diff. This. Ro Ooh, no Mew. I was going to get Rody and Mew. Not Rody and not Mew. Or Mew, not Rody. Rody, not Mew. Whatever. So we got to keep around this guy. So let's get this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, that's awkward. Wait, that is just awkward. So I have to get Rody here. But then do I also get Pidgey? But I don't want to get Battle VIP Pass with Four Seal Stone. But I need like another Charmander. I just go Charmander, Rody, and then use Rody. I can see it. I can see that being the play here. I prize. What did I prize again? Oh, that's something I prize there. I don't know Arvin. Oh, it's interesting. I could go another Battle VIP pass now, but um, I have so many energy in my hand. I want to kind of move them out of my hand a little bit. <laughs> interesting. Turn to candies are like the most important thing, so maybe I just chill. No Pidgey though? That's that's sus to be honest for sure. No no Pidgey is weird. That feels weird. It doesn't feel right. It don't feel right. Oh, I also left my Manaphy in the active. I talked about that, didn't I? I probably should have retreated to Charmander there. <laughs> Cause now I can just get canceling cologne and let's just lose the game. I should have retreated to Charmander there for sure. I literally talked about that as well. Um Did I see the hands moonless Rahul posted on dude that I'm not gonna lie, that look that, that looked terrible. But I'd be down to try it out. Did it have a Thornton in there? If not, you probably Thornton's probably the way to be honest. That's, that's what had to be where I saw the Thornton, though. I was like, oh, shoot, Thorn kind of makes sense here. Any reason, wh reason why no Radzard? It just doesn't feel worth including. Double Switcher, so it doesn't matter if you retreated. Oh, did they really get Double Switcher? I just, yeah, we just knew they were getting Double Switcher. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to lie. It looks bad, but... Very right, cool. Moon. Now, how do I play this, though? How do I play this? How do I play this, you know? Like... I don't want to just go punch a punch a moon. Well, punching a moon would be fine, but I can't punch a moon out of hand. I mean, they're kind of not chilling. Are they down four Ultra Ball off the Rippity? What the heck? <laughs> what? All right. Um. Level for Pidge, and then just draw three with Rody again. I guess I'm down with that. Level for Pidge. Oh, I didn't check for Vitality Band or anything. To be honest, that's not good. I should check for that. Um. They should have honestly been here already. They have double cross switch on hand, so retreating the man if doesn't really matter. I could put the Lost City in play. Or I could just go like... Oh no, I might need the vacuum for their other tool card later, actually. Yeah, let's just bump that. And then... I could still be holding this hand next turn, to be honest. Let's just do this. It's the charge. It's another situation where escape would be pretty good, to be honest. Um... Slam the stop. Nah, not necessary. We can chill. <sighs> Let them take the first prize KO, possibly. I mean, that's like the idea, but I don't want... If you wait too long, things could probably get weird, to be honest. There's definitely a possibility that things get really weird if we wait too long. That's the only thing I'm thinking, is like, things have to get weird eventually if we wait too long. We can't wait forever. It's like, this turn, we should go. Like, if they don't draw a prize card this turn, we should definitely play for a prize card this turn, I feel like. Yeah, waiting for forever can't be correct. There's definitely like... 
They weren't able to be aggressive to disrupt my setup through being aggressive. There's a double switch. Oh, maybe I should just use four seal stone because I knew they were going to go after my roadie like this. In the Iono? Oh, I guess, well, I guess using four seal stone would have done anything. <laughs> like, never mind. I guess it doesn't do anything. Dude, no Mew kind of that. No Mew's hitting to be here, honest. To be honest, right here, no Mew is hitting. If we had Mew, we'd be cooking. This is not it. Um, I think you're right to not attach a Seal Stone to you one as well because they were more likely to gust. Oh, that's true because of the gust count on the road. Because now if I get Ultra Ball for Lumini, I don't have the Four Seal Stone to work with. Yeah, I should have held the Four Seal Stone. You're right, yeah. Okay, now it makes sense to not push the Manaphy because they don't have the Double Cross Switcher in hand. If they play Canceling Clone, I'm not going to feed them this. I, my chart my chart million's prized i guess i could have used call for i can still use call for family how much energy do i have left two i should have i should have sent up the pidgey yeah i should have sent a pidgey because no matter what i'm gonna go for the call for family angle i right, so just give me a mander Dude, this is rough no million either yeah, that, that draw, honestly, is, I don't even know what to say. Like, that's just a really bad draw. I don't know. This guy, this guy. It's rough, dog. It's rough. Not much else to say, though. It's just a bad, bad situation. It's still winnable, technically, but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Real tough. We had Radiance Art. Uh, Radiance Art wouldn't change too much here. I don't think, actually. We're just so far behind. <laughs> we Honestly, we just don't have... We're just so far behind it might just not, I don't think it matters what we do. Dude, we have so many outs here too, like Also I just kinda of didn't expect the Iono from them as well. Like I mean I'm not like if you ask me if they play an Iono, like yeah, a decent amount of them play Iono. Decent a decent amount of them play one Iono. So I'm like not so that surprised they play Iono, but Dude, all of my evolutions are in my hand. Does this matter anywhere at this point? I should just throw it down, right? Um I don't know if it matters. Just, I this thing's hitting for 270, 280. 280 doesn't make a difference if they have the tool card. I don't know. Chill. Leave the bench open for. Eh, maybe I should put it down. Luminium would be the thing, but if they're not taking a knockout next turn, then I'm winning anyways, theoretically. I right, just go like this. All right, I got Candy Charizard. Yikes. Okay. All right, hold up. All I have is Candy Charizard, though. <laughs> Ooh, this is not good. All right, we're chill, we're chill. How many, how many energy do I even have in the deck at this point? Um. Okay. I should just thin out both, right? Throw one here, and then maybe the heat tackle happens. All right, slap. Yeah, maybe like I have to heat tackle them, and then I have to hope like more Pico doesn't get set up to like return KO my Charmander. It's not looking good. Oh, but we could evolve it to the Charmeleon. Nobody oh, just he just 70 damage. Okay, we got an Iono. There's a possibility to draw into like another Candy Zard combo here. I hope their hand is like kind of dead as well. If they like start cooking here, we're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, Charmeleon doesn't even work because it like, uh, yeah, because it hits itself for 20, right? Yeah, so I can't even tank a freaking Energize wheel. That's so cringe. All right, so it has to be like a candy Zard off this. Oh my goodness. Honestly, this energy could have gone to the PG. I don't know, man. Um, I mean, Maybe they whiffed the energy on that, right? So we should just push up, push up this guy. Did I shuffle my deck after the last Iono? I don't think so. So all my evolutions are on the bottom of the deck, and there's no candy on the bottom of the deck, right? Did I shuffle the deck? I don't remember. What was the order? I did Ultra Ball for Charizard, so the deck is shuffled right now. Um. Yeah, I did. Oh, I don't know if this is correct though, because I kind of want to leave the Charizard in the deck. Actually, ooh, wait, Luminion. Does Luminion do anything? Luminion for. No, because I got rid of my four Seal Stone, so Luminion doesn't do sheesh. All right, let me get. I guess I'm taking a Charizard now, though, and hoping that this mills a... I 
could have Iono would first though and then use this afterwards. But I have the Ultra Ball now is the thing. But I th should have used this without using the Ultra Ball. Yeah, I should have used this. <sighs> That's rough actually. I shouldn't have used the Ultra Ball first. I should have used the Pokestop first. Um, oh, I did charge off for energy as well. Yeah. All right, Iono to one. Yikes. Oh, I should have vaulted Charmeleon. What am I doing? Oh, I Ultra Ball away the Charmeleon. That makes sense. All right. They need an energy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They're out of vessels. Actually, is the rest of their energy on the bottom of their deck? The rest of the energy might be on the bottom of their deck. And if the rest of the energy is on the bottom of their deck, then they can't draw into it here. And they can't focus out for a vessel because no vessel exists. Dude, did we win this? Yeah, they're out of vessels, so they couldn't stop into a vessel. And then the rest of the energy is on the bottom of their deck because they use vessel. For Let's go! Wait, I don't have game. I still don't have. Oh, I got game. <laughs> Wait, is there an ultra ball? Okay, chill, 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 chill. Dude, that's hilarious. I can't believe we won this game. We're sitting sitting here dirtling for so long, man. <clears throat> I honestly probably should have evolved this active one into Charmeleon though and attached to it and swung with Charmeleon. No, I Ultra Balled away the Charmeleon, but I shouldn't have Ultra Balled away the Charmeleon. So that was the mistake. No, 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 but then, ooh, that's actually interesting actually. I'm not sure.